Moments tonight as protesters gathered right outside a Down River Church under fire. They claim it's pushing conversion therapy for LGBTQ youth. But the pastor claims it's merely a conversation. 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell is in Riverview tonight with more on this controversy for us. Alan? Tonight, the protesters tell me what's happening inside this church behind me here simply isn't right. And those controversial programs need to end soon. However, the pastor of the church says it's the protesters who have it all wrong. You can't pray away the game. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hundreds of protesters gathered to express their disapproval of controversial programs being offered in the Metro City Church for youth. Without a doubt, it's conversion therapy. If you read their posts, they are clearly giving the definition of conversion therapy. Seth Tooley used to attend the Metro City Church in Riverview. He says what happened to him scarred him for life. They started praying and they got louder and they were trying to pray the demon of homosexuality out of me. His mother outraged when she saw what was going on. I hear homosexuality, demon, the demon of, the demon of, and in the name of Jesus Christ, all these things. And I screamed, I jerked him by the arm and said, let's go. Reverend Roland Strongfellow also among the protesters. Using such an antiquated uh, therapy method such as conversion therapy does nothing to cure people of, uh, of, of their gender or sexual orientation. The Metro City Church's lead pastor talking to us about the protest and the controversial programs at the church saying the protesters have it all wrong. We think it goes both ways. So if somebody wants to talk to us freely out of their own volition and because they're unsettled in their heart in some way, they want to move back uh, toward the heterosexual life, why wouldn't we applaud that? Pastor Chisseau says he wants to have a conversation, but only with the child and parent present. They're saying we need to help sorting this out and they've come to us wanting to talk about it. What is possibly bad about a conversation? Seth says what's happening in the church has to stop. I don't want children to go through what I went through. I just, I want God, I want people to know that God loves them no matter what. This evening, protesters tell me they'll continue to voice their displeasure with those controversial programs happening inside the church. But as you heard the pastor say, he's open to a conversation. Reporting in Riverview, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News.